after two painful months, I have finally fixed the Creality K2 Plus and it's now printing properly. And I wanted to give you a quick update on how I actually went about doing that. Initially, I had back in the very beginning of January, some bed leveling issues. It was printing properly for about one to two weeks. Uh, and then it, we re went through the process of replacing the strain gauge, which Creality recommended. They sent me a strain gauge. I ended up buying an extra one just in case. Went through both of those and it did not resolve my errors. They then sent over a print head PCB replacement uh, board to replace that still didn't repl that didn't still uh, fix it and most recently they sent over a motherboard for me to swap out and went through that entire process of swapping out every single cable that goes into the motherboard on the very back of the machine yeah that still did not resolve the print issues so finally they sent over a new print head cable this is the main cable that feeds into the print head that basically controls all of the printing and that plugs in on the side up top here of the printer that was it. This was the culprit that has been causing all of the issues that I've had with the leveling or calibration errors that I have been getting for the past two months now. So I wanted to make this for anybody. I'll have the error codes on screen as well as in the comments and in the descriptions. Hopefully it'll help tag anyone that's running into that exact same issue. It's more than likely this print cable. And unfortunately, it's not available over on Creality's website yet. I have already requested that they add this to their storefront so that you can buy this replacement cable. You're gonna have to reach out to them and get a replacement. I did find one listing online. I think it was an Australian site that had these cables that you could order. So hopefully Creality will have these up. They have a lot of other spare parts up and running now, which is great. Um, one unfortunate thing that I've also asked them about is there are no wiki guides, instructional guides or videos on how to actually replace this. So it's kind of going through, trying to figure that out. Basically, you're going to remove the strain gauge cable, uh, the the uh, basically the cage, and then you can start fishing out this cable. Unfortunately, you have to remove some of the components of the print head. You have to remove the back. You also have to remove the internal side panel, and then you can get access to this and have to fish it. And it's, it's a bit of a process to get it out of there. Uh, what I wanted to call out, I cannot see any vis visible damage to this cable here. How However, there is a lot of strain. It's like a very hard bend for the print head where it's plugged in as well as on the side of the printer. It's at like this almost 180 degree turn for the cable of how it's plugged in. And I'm wondering if it's just the strain of this cable inside the printer that's causing these issues. Now, as you can see, I ended up getting a full multicolor print. I shouldn't say full multicolor print because this is actually a, uh, it, you can print this in individual colors and then either pause the printer and swap out the colors. I ended up running the green portion, the red little midsection there and the hand overnight to test this out in it printed beautifully here. I think this took about 12 hours to print that. And I also, I figured since this was printing overnight, why not bust out the new Creality High combo that I just recently received and give that a whirl printing the other parts because that would be fantastic, right? Wrong, wrong. It, it like, it did not work at all. I was constantly getting errors. Every single print that I have run on the High combo so far is throwing an error either when it's trying to change the color or towards the end of a single color print. Basically the print head runs into the side of the printer and then it says it's canceling the print. And then after that, it doesn't unload the, it doesn't cut the filament and doesn't unload it properly. So you end up getting a blob on the end of your filament that ends up getting jammed in the AMS hub or it breaks free, which also happens. Uh, it's just kind of a mess right now. And there are other users running into these exact same issues that I'm running into on the high comp. Combo. Creality, you got to do more testing on these things. Like I, I don't understand. Like I just don't understand. It's there's even this issue with the cable here. There are a bunch of other users with this exact same issue. And we've all been testing out, swapping out the strain gauge, trying to figure out what is the culprit. And it's this cable. And it's like it's kind of blowing my mind that it's like, all right, we're going back and forth and I appreciate all the help that you guys are putting in to get me to get this up and running, but are you guys testing these things on your end? I'm assuming you must have like at least 10 of these up and running and constantly printing and testing out and running into potential issues and trying to troubleshoot those. 
I would assume you probably ran into this issue by now or with the high combo. This literally I took it out of the box, set it up and I'm immediately getting errors on the very first thing that I try and print. Every single thing that I print, it's erroring. And I'm not the, again, I'm not alone here. It's just, it's kind of frustrating at this point that it doesn't feel like there's a lot of testing going on on the other side of the manufacturing process and it's being pushed onto the user standpoint or the creator standpoint that are actually getting these machines early and then trying to help you promote and show these things off but we're running into constant issues with them. I, I need some further assistance from you all in testing these. And it's not just a Creality issue. This is a brand wide issue that has crossed multiple different brands where we're getting constantly getting machines that just do not work as intended. And I'm assuming it's a combination of like firmware updates or with the high, the, the, the high combo, I'm guessing it's going to be a firmware update. Potentially I'm already on the latest firmware that's going to resolve this. I and don't know. It doesn't seem as drastic as this, but it's at the point where I can't use the printer and it can't print anything with the multicolor option. I was actually looking forward to putting, taking this AMS unit or the CFS unit off of the K2 plus and bringing that back and hooking it up to the high so that I could run up to eight colors on that combo. But at this point, I'm just going to have to set that printer to the side until there's a firmware update or something that actually resolves that issue. Quick update, I just heard back from Creality on the high and uh, what they recommended is that I do a power cycle for the printer, uh, rerun the calibration, and more importantly, adjust the camera cover position, I believe is what was actually causing these errors for myself and numerous others. And they've said that they're gonna redesign the camera cover now uh, to prevent this error from it apparently getting in the way or blocking the print head. I am excited that I have this back up and running the K2 Plus. I have been really looking forward to getting this fixed. I had high hopes that I could figure this out or work with Creality and get it figured out. And it looks like we have a solution here. So if you're running into the strain gauge errors, it's more than likely not the strain gauge. It's probably this cable and the extreme kinks that it has where it's being plugged in. It's a very odd design choice, in my opinion, of how this is plugged in. And maybe there needs to be some kind of like relief or pressure relief on these cables to prevent some of the wear and tear that I'm assuming is what's causing some of these issues. Uh, I just wanted to make this, as you can see, it's kind of a rantish off the top of my head type thing. Uh, if you're interested, this is an awesome file here. This designer, I uh, apologies, I, I can't remember the designer's name. I'll have it on screen. I'm gonna have their thanks page. There are some of the coolest designs over on things that this creator is making. If you're looking for some really awesome, unique designs that are multicolor or uh, single color that you can print that are multi, assembled multicolor, check them out. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Definitely going to be printing more of their models. This was such a cool thing here that I'm going to have in the studio where I have my Xbox setup. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. I've got some more videos in the works, some other printer videos in the works as well. So stay tuned for that. I uh, just want to say, uh, yeah, got this updated and it's up and running and you'll definitely be seeing more of this here soon. I'm going to be doing the full review now that I've got it up and running. I'll be printing with a lot more materials and fully running it through its paces here and uh, getting that updated and out to everybody. Hey, thanks so much for watching all. I'll see you next time. Bye now. Also having fun with the Osmo Pocket 3. This is like the little miniature camera. It's got the little selfie tracking mode, which is allowing me to kind of walk around and it keep track of me and stay in focus. Uh, hopefully the video quality is okay. I mostly use it for the vertical stuff, but uh, first time doing it for one of these horizontal videos. So Maybe we'll do more of that in the future. This print is such a cool file. So cool. So, so cool. Uh, a little, little bit of a print, you know, quality issue, but it might've been, I don't have the, this filament profile. I was just using the generic profile and probably could have been tuned in a little bit better for this, but in general, looks really good. Very happy with this.